Hi, and today I'm going to show you how to decorate your room. This is part one. How to decorate... I can't not talk today. Um, how to decorate your room in a, I guess I can say, warrior cat way. Um, there aren't any other videos of this on YouTube, so I thought it was going to be pretty cool to do it. Um, so for this, you're going to need a piece of paper cut out in a circle shape. A paper plate, scissors and a pencil, glue and um, tape or duct tape, or basically you'll you'll see what I'm gonna do. Um. Oh, and you can also uh, and you're also you're also gonna need like yarn or something, but I didn't have any yarn, so I just used this. It's an old lanyard that I can't use anymore. So I just cut it and I'm going to be using that. But I think using yarn is the best thing. Anyways, let's get started. So, oh, what, hold on, one more thing. If you don't know what warrior cats are, then you won't understand this video a single bit. Um, and I'm new to doing this warrior cat channel. I'm now calling it a warrior cat channel because I'm going to be doing warrior cats instead now. A lot of warrior cat stuff. Um, so anyways, what you're going to do first is you're going to take the paper plate and you're going to trace out around here. I don't know if you can see because I have to hold my tablet up in a weird way. But anyway, you're going to be tracing around here. Sorry for the noise. Now you're going to take the scissors and you're going to cut out where you traced. And it's harder than it looks. I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers that's lying and saying, oh, it's so easy. Because it's a very cheap thing. That I'm doing, but I can tell you it is definitely not easy. It can be easy for others. This is my first time actually doing this, so I was wondering if I would just like to use paper or use something other than paper. Um. So, once you're done cutting that out, you can yeet it out a wall, um, and it should turn out like this. Okay, and now you're going to compare the size. It needs to be a little bit bigger. The paper needs to be a little bit bigger than the actual plate. And then what you're going to do is you're going to trace. Oh, this, is, this part is probably the hardest. So, if it's this big, you want to trace this part a little bit, um, I'm trying to think how to say this. Actually, I'm going to do this in a different way. So, basically, you're going to use this to uh, press down on, on it, since I'm not doing it at my desk today, I'm doing it on my floor. Um... So, the, man, I'm being so confusing now. Um, you can draw whatever cat you want. Today I'm going to be drawing Swift Paul. Let me get my picture of it, of him. Um, okay, I got it. So I actually looked up a different picture online, but I made him into Swift Paul. I'm going to be drawing this. And you can draw whatever you want, whatever warrior cat you want, or you can just draw, like, whatever your favorite character is, or whatever your favorite food is. I mean, it doesn't have to be about the warrior cats. But I'm not going to be showing it because it's easier and it goes quicker if I just... Here, I've got an idea. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll look here. That might work. Sorry, 
it. I'm trying to set it up in a way to where you guys can see what I'm drawing. Should have done this before. That's good enough. So I'm going to be drawing this with Paul. You guys can pause the video or you can just draw what I'm drawing. But I'm not going to give a tutorial on how to draw this because I got better things to do with my life. I will do tutorials on how to draw warrior cats though. <coughs> Sorry for my casual coughing. And this won't be as good as the other one because I'm not I'm trying to kind of hurry. Cause I don't want this video to be too long because it takes like an hour to upload if it's like 30 minutes more like three hours so actually instead of swip paw I'm going to be drawing cloud tail sorry for, sorry if I spoiled a little bit yeah this is looking terrible absolutely terrible I have to fix this where is my eraser I must find my eraser I think it's in here this is all I really have for an eraser sorry I cannot I cannot stand terrible drawings it I mean I can stand drawings from other people is it raining outside okay i'm done i'm flipping this over and i'm trying i can't i'm raging inside i just realized what i did wrong and i realized i had an eraser the entire time this is gonna look very terrible because of how much i'm erasing I'm realizing what I'm doing wrong and it's making me very mad and I don't want to cut out the perfect picture of oh great it's raining outside um I don't want to cut out my perfect picture of swift paw because it will make me very mad because of my warrior wall yeah you basically get it. I'm, I'm crazy about warrior cats. I've gone way too crazy with warrior cats. They look so worried. <gasps> Ooh. I just thought of something. This will be like Cloudtail when he's worrying about Brightheart. Okay, this is a big fail. This is the biggest fail of my life. I'm going to take a picture off of my warrior wall that is not Swiftpaw because that would make me very mad. Um, I don't know what picture to take. Oh, never mind. Found it. I'm so sorry, Firestar. I'm super sorry. I'm taking it off my warrior wall. So, this is my drawing of Fireheart. I actually got it from a um, drawing website. So, Firestar, I'm just going to casually... Cut this into a circle. I'm gonna cut this sh sheet of paper into a circle. I'm so sorry, Firestar, but I'm replacing you with Swift Paul. Actually, I've never really liked Firestar. Firestar, I've just never really liked. He he's sort of boring to me. And when he does have an adventures in his life, they just I don't. Uh, I mean, hold on. 
trying to think of how to say this. I don't want to offend the people whose favorite character is Firestar. Um, my favorite character is was Silverstream, but then she died. I'm sorry if there's spoilers. Um, so th I'm gonna have to work with that. So, anyways, um, let me cut it out a little bit more. So, oh my gosh, this video's been filming for 10 minutes. Sorry, I'm trying to get to the point. So, my favorite character was Silverstream. I liked her kindness, and she seemed kind of haunted because she did not want to betray her clan for loving Graystripe. Let me, let me finish really quick. But then when she died, I didn't have a clue who my favorite character was. And then my favorite character was Feathertail. But I'm on the book Moonrise. So she died. So I have no idea who my favorite character is now. Um, I don't, I've never really liked the character Firestar. I've never really liked Squirrel Flight. Um, I think my favorite character now is probably Brightheart. I'm not sure though. Anyways, so what you're going to do next, let me reset it to the angle I had it in. There we go. Okay, so with this, what you're going to do now is you're going to take the glue and you're going to obviously glue the edges I'm, I'm not sure if you can see I'm sorry if you can't okay so basically what you do is you glue the edges and you take your picture and you stick it on there and if there are sides sticking out you can either choose to trim them or glue them. I'm going to choose to glue it. I, I'll go ahead and do that because I don't want to cut Fire Firestar's tail off. Okay, never mind. It's not sticking. This glue isn't the best. I'm sorry, Firestar. I had to kind of cut his tail off. And a little bit of his foot. Sorry. I think Firestar is a good character, but I mean, not not the best in my opinion. So I'm just cutting the edges really quick. Okay. And now here is the kind of tricky part. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take the top of it, and you're gonna cut a hole right here. Why are paper plates so strong nowadays? So you cut a hole right there and then you're going to take whatever you're using. I'm using this for today and you're going to, uh, like the yarn, you're going to stick it through there. Hold on. Gotta cut something really quick. I gotta admit it, this is not my best video. This is probably one of my worst. There's gonna be like 20 parts to this. Anyways, so I finally fixed it. Now, what you're going to do is you're gonna make sure that the hole is cut out because I did not check the hole. Now, you're gonna stick the one piece of, I'm just going to say yarn, through here, if it will go through, and it's going to come out the other side, obviously. Then you're just going to tie it into a knot over and over until it's big enough to where it doesn't come out.
so like that and it should look like this and now here is the fun part if you have tape or duct tape I don't I mean I do have that but I used almost all of it Oops. for some reason so I'm just gonna use this something I get from the Dollar Tree so it doesn't mess up your walls anyways um hold on so here's the tricky part because I'm gonna have to try to hold my tablet and I'm gonna have to try to show you what I'm doing so please do not mind my messy room so I'm standing on top of my chair, so you're going to take this, and you're going to stick it on top of your roof, like, like that. And now I'm going to get down, and it looks like that. And if you want to put something on the other side, you can. I'm not going to do that and until later. So basically, hold on, it just, it looks like this. And that's the end of it. Thank you for watching, bye.